This Week in Michigan Football History with Professor Greg Dooley. Tonight, we play another game under the lights at Michigan Stadium, a relatively new phenomenon at home. Did you know Michigan's tradition of playing at night started on the road in Marquette way back during World War II? On that day in 1944, Fritz Chrysler's men defeated the Hilltoppers 14 to nothing. The game even featured a yellow painted pigskin to help everyone see the ball at night. Tonight's game will have a hard time living up to what happened on this day in Michigan football history exactly 28 years ago. I'm talking about September 10th, 1994, when Coach Gary Moeller and his sixth-ranked Wolverines visited South Bend to face the third-ranked Irish. The game was billed as Act 2 for Notre Dame's freshman wonder boy, quarterback Ron Paulus. After Paulus tossed four TDs in the season opener against Northwestern, the media hype meter was set to ludicrous. ESPN's crusty analyst Beano Cook couldn't contain himself, declaring, quote, Ron Paulus will be the greatest quarterback in Notre Dame history and predicted two Heismans for the kid. Um, just one game into his career. NBC's Chris Collinsworth joined right in, adding, move over, Joe Montana. Sorry, Chris and Beano, but September 10th, 1994 would be remembered, but not for Mr. Paulus. It would be reserved for a Michigan man, namely our kicker named Remy Martin Hamilton. The 1994 matchup would be settled in the final moments. After driving the Irish down the field, Paulus connected with Derek Mays to give Notre Dame a 24-23 lead. With just 46 ticks left, Michigan's Todd Collins scrambled 15 yards for a first down, then found tight end Jay Reimersma over the middle at the Irish 42. Collins connected on two more passes to Seth Smith to set the stage for Hamilton, who trotted out with just seven seconds to go. From the coast of Lake Michigan to the coast of Lake Erie, it sounded like this. Brian Hamilton. Or Remy Hamilton, excuse me. Sophomore kicker. 42-yard attempt to win the game. On its way. It's good. Almost immediately after the ball left his foot, Hamilton rejoiced, certain that the kick was perfect. As the ball sailed through to seal the glorious 26-24 victory on this day 28 years ago, Remy secured a seat in Michigan football's Valhalla. And fans everywhere uttered, to hell with Notre Dame. For those wondering, Hamilton's parents own a bar in New Jersey and indeed christened their child Remy Martin after the popular cognac. Little did they know Michigan fans would be toasting their child's name for decades to come. Thank you, Coach Moeller, for this memory and many like it. And go blue, beat the Rainbow Warriors. And for more, check out mvictors.com and wtka.com for the KeyBank Countdown to kick off. This is Greg Dooley.